I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory. So help me God. This is the document that we um, delivered to this, uh, the, the, the State Department. And uh, because it's voluminous, I will only conclude uh, that uh, we have identified 102 individuals in Nigeria that we are going to continuously bombard the United States government to block them mm -hmm. and, and to the block government. their wives. I'm not going to uh, read all them out, but we are also going to make them available to the press, uh, nationally and uh, internationally. Uh, but uh, I want to touch on our demand, which says Nigerian democracy under, under siege, our demand. The first one is let the people's vote count. INEC must revert to counting all votes, cast the tabulated and announced at the polling booths on February 25th, 2023 presidential election and strictly follow the guidelines and the 2022 electoral law as amended. Two, the INEC chairman must step aside. That's our demand. Three, to return the people's mandate. It is obvious that the INEC declared winner of the 25th, uh, 2023 presidential election, Bola Amitun, who did not win the election. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tinubu did not meet, not even the 25% 20, uh, of votes cast in Abuja, and therefore should not have been declared winner mm -hmm. in the first place. Yes. Four, no presidential inauguration. We are demanding that there should be no presidential inauguration on the 29th of May 2023. Mr. Tinubu has an outrageous political baggage, and his inauguration why these issues persist in court and around the world will be a major affront to Nigeria yes. and to the Nigerian constitution. Yeah. Visa ban all Nigerian individuals and their immediate family who participated in the rep of democracy during these elections must be placed on an indefinite U.S. ban. A list of these individuals are attached here. The Joint National Democratic Institute, International Republican Institute, International Observer Mission to Nigerian Presidential and Legislative Elections recommendation must be accepted by INEC and implemented in full. Mm -hmm. The Global Magnitsky Act and the Foreign Narcotics Kingspin Designation Act. These two United States State Acts must be preferred on Bola Ahmed to you. Right. The leadership of all progressive Congress, APC, the presidency, governors, and other Nigerians and INEC officials who participated in the sham with, with attendant human rights violations, killings, violence, and ethnic profiling. The Nigerian judiciary, judges who participate in any way, who are going to participate in the various election tribunals, and who corruptly issue any questionable judgment must be so treated like corrupt politicians. That's our demand. We also demand that the United States government must withhold any form of official recognition uh, to Bola Ahmed Tinubu because he did not win the elections. We also demand that the United States of America should stand with the people of Nigeria and the millions of Nigerian Americans in the quest for a democracy and the rule of law. And finally, we ask that the international community not to watch, we ask the international community not to watch Nigeria become a failed state or a criminal state because the world will feel it. So thank you so much for participating. This is our demand, I will continue to press as hard as possible. Thank you so much. Can we get a copy of that?